what's up, what's up, people? I have today with me the Daisy Powerline Model 880 Pump Pneumatic Air Rifle. And I know a lot of people are going to recognize this gun. And for a lot of people, it's, it's one of the first guns that um, they ever shot. For me, it was my first air rifle that I remember shooting when I was about 13 years old. I uh, just have a lot of memories with it. It was my first hunting rifle, but back then I would only hunt uh, was sparrows and sometimes just doves. I never really got to hunt squirrels or rabbits with it, but I'm pretty sure other people have got a um, good experience from that. But also I remember I could never adjust the scope on this gun. So I, I used to always just use the, the sights, and the sights worked pretty well. You could be pretty accurate with it out to 20 yards with it, but it's not the point. Well, it is kind of the point. Um, the point of the gun is um, I just want to do a review, a, re a review on it, um, just to see what I can do out of this gun. You know, back then I used to have a little bit of knowledge of air guns. You know, I just it was all about point and shoot. Um, you know, like everyone, more power, more, more accuracy. You know, you, you don't know stuff like that when you're younger. But when time we gain experience and uh, tips from people, from videos, YouTube, uh, you learn a lot from air guns. And this is basically I want to do a test. I want to what see what the max results I can get with this gun. And what I did with that, uh, I put on a Hawk. What is it? Um, Hawk Barman six twenty four by forty four FC. SF scope and this gun this scope is about $170 so it's about three times the cost of the gun which is kind of over um, overkill in my opinion but this is just to see um, just to get the max accuracy of this gun you know just squeeze every millimeter I can out of this gun because I'm, I know this gun is very accurate um, from what I remember and I don't just have just cross me ammo to test today, I have RWS Super Point. These are 8.2 grain. So I never shot these pellets with my gun. I used to always just use uh, Premiers or Hollow Points at, or BBs. Uh, I'm ex excluding BBs because they're not accurate. Um, before I did this, start doing this review, I tested to see how the BBs were. They were not accurate. Maybe just 10 yards, but not enough to really do a test on it. Second, um, have these Crossman Premier pointed, which are very good uh, from what I remember. But you know, let's see how it does with this gun. And lastly, I have these JSBs uh, Exact RS pellets. These weigh in at 7.3 grain, and I'm very excited to see what kind of results I can get with these pellets because I never got to shoot. JSB's pellets with these. Um, I really don't remember if there was JSB pellets back then. Again, I had no knowledge of that. But again, you know, I'm very excited to see what I can get with this gun. And I hope the JSB's do well on it. So just do a quick review on it. Um, I'll show you the gun, the mechanics, and the way it works. So the gun itself is about, I would say 30, 34 inches long maybe, weighs in about, with this heavy scope it does not weigh more than 4 pounds for sure, it's very light, you know, I could carry with two fingers, it weighs nothing, you know? but again it is a youth gun, uh, but you, know, you want to shoot this all day, you're not going to get tired for sure. It is a pump pneumatic, meaning you have to pump, uh, pump it to get the power you want. Um, maximum of 10 pumps will give you maximum velocity. That's just three pumps, but you get the idea. All right. The gun will not pump air into the reservoir here until you cock the gun. So if you just haven't um, cocked the bolt here, you could be pumping the gun and it will not um, put any air in the reservoir, it will just keep pumping, which is um, 
I think it's a good feature if um, you don't want any air in there. But something I will recommend is to leave about a pump or two pumps in the gun, which will keep the seals uh, working great over time and it'll help them uh, not to wear out. But if you do cock the gun, see, it starts pumping. You start feeling the tension here. Good thing I like about this gun is that, is that um, it does not get harder over time. Um, once you get to about the third pump, every other pump um, that you that you um, do feels the same. So it doesn't get harder when you get to about seven or eight, seven to ten uh, pumps, which is uh, good for a young kid. He, you know, it, it will make it easier for him to shoot. For an adult, it'll be, you know, it'll be nothing. And. What else? Oh, the safety. All right, let me focus here. The safety does not engage until you cock the gun. Then it starts to engage. So it's a manual safety but it does not engage until you cock the gun, um, which is, I guess, a good feature. It doesn't really matter if you don't have any any power into it, right? But always be be careful when you're dealing with the safety or putting a pellet in there, you know, you know what you're doing. Um, right here, it has a, a little reservoir where you can put BBs in here. I think they go into the stock right here. You could put about, I think, 200 BBs in there. I don't remember, but... Again, I don't use BBs. I'm not gonna use BBs. It, it's a good BB gun, but for accuracy and our our purpose, um, we're gonna not use that. Okay. This is just to show you the sights here. Uh, you can't really tell. They are not fiber optic like most guns nowadays, and I prefer them that way. I think I believe it has a little white mill dot tip and yeah um you know i'm really excited to see what we can do right now so right now let's go with the so right now let's go and do the crony results and i'm um, one quick thing before we start the chronograph um Obviously, this is not the scope that bundles with the gun. Um, you can either get the gun bundled with the scope or not. Um, but the one that does come with it is this Daisy 4 to 15 scope. Uh, it is a very, very, very cheap scope. Um, it works great um, for about 15 yards, but then everything else just starts getting blurry. Um, but what do you expect from a cheap scope, right? Uh, let me show you quickly um, what's the advantage of this scope to this scope. So it's basically all you get. It's just not really a good picture. But that was very close. Um, this scope though. It's just very better. It has a better uh, field of view and a better reticle. And again, it's gonna you know, help me out with the accuracy test for sure. My crony is set up and ready. And it's crony the power line using the three pellets I have here. The Crossman Premier Pointed the JSB RS Diablos and the RWS Super Point. And we're gonna do uh, 10 pumps max for each shot and we'll do three of each. And we'll get our average of, uh, of those three shots to see what kind of energy this gun is producing. So first, let's do the, the Crossman Premier Pointed at 7.9 grain. So 
those were the three shots with the cross mirror premier pointed. And now let's do the let's do these um, JSB exact RS pellets. Um, these weigh at 7.3 grain. So again, three shots, all at 10 pumps max. There you go. And last pellets we're gonna try are the the RWS Super Point. These weigh in at um, 8.2 grain. So they're heavier than both the pellets. So again, we're gonna expect a little lower velocity from these ones. Three shots. Alright, so we got the velocity for all three pellets. Um, let's go analy analyze the results and let's see what kind of uh, energy we're getting from these. So having done all the math on my handy dandy notebook, the cross to premier pointed we're average at 695.5 which gave us 8.5 foot pounds. The JSB is at 718.8 averaging 8.4 foot-pounds and the RW super point at average at 687.8 giving us 8.6 foot-pounds all at the muzzle and for small game you need at least four foot-pounds at the kill zone so this is this is twice the limit so you know with this energy that's going to be producing and if we keep our shots close. Um, it is a perfect small game hunting air rifle. And now let's go with the accuracy now. 